right, everybody, uh, I'm back with our panel, and here's the next headline. Okay, YouTube recently shut down comedian Nicole Arbor's site temporarily. Uh, she claims it's because of the comedy run she did on the term fat shaming. Here's a clip. Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no, that means you're too fat and you should stop eating. Everybody just needs to make more sense. Fat shaming. Nicole claims that people made up the phrase to make it seem like a condition when it's really an excuse to binge. Was she wrong to do this, or have we become too politically correct, Kim? Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Look, Steve, I've been every size on the chart, okay? I've been a two and a tight 12 and a loose 14, all right? <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this video YouTube clip, I wanted to have a little come to Jesus meeting with old thin girl. I don't, first of all, I don't trust people who are too skinny, mm -hmm. first of all. <laughs> but second of all, I'm like, come on, ladies. We have to support each other. Women are the foundation, and if we don't support each other, who else will? I'm telling you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we have got to, we have got to understand that women, I mean, I'm gonna quote Beyonce here, who runs the world? Girl. And so we have got to start supporting each other. And if we do, Steve, I, honestly, if women would band together on this and not fat shame or whatever, we could change the world. Okay, Thank Jenny. You. You're gonna hate me. I don't hate you, I love you. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. All right, I'm pro comedy. She's a comedian. She's been a comedian for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we should censor comedy. I watched the same skit being done on a show 20 years ago that I used to laugh on, that all of a sudden now people are having problems with it. But if people are always gonna be politically correct and oversensitive with comedy, what's gonna happen to our comedy in five, 10, 15 years? Let me say this, that wasn't funny. No. It's, it wasn't funny what she was but saying. But everyone's not gonna to, have their own opinion ev on it, but if- but, No, but it's not even that, it's not, she's, no one's laughing. Everyone's but, but gonna get offended. This, everyone is always gonna get offended with someone's comedy. Anytime you make Tosh, fun or criticize someone's weakness, that is shaming, bottom line. It doesn't matter if it's done in the name of comedy or not. I've seen her other videos, and her other they're videos, funny. they're funny. They're funny. what? I was overweight at one point, and it took a hard time to get where I am today, being fit and healthy. So if I was, like, watching that video and I was struggling with my weight, trying to lose weight, sure. I would be insulted. Absolutely. So I feel like she was trying to say that obesity is a problem in our country, but the way she said it was awful. Yeah, she, to me, you know, she's being a bully. Well, mm. see, I, this is a difficult subject funny, for me. Don't because worry, you're funny. Because I'm a comedian. <laughs> you're right? awesome, though. And I've been with for a long time, but no matter what joke you tell, like, like she said, it's going to Somebody offend someone. Good. I was okay with her because I know she was trying to be funny, but pointed, mm. and too many people took offense. Now, as a comedian, all you can do is say, look, my bad, I probably went too far on that one, and be done with it. Well, she apologized. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, that, and that's all you can ask her to do. A, a, a person can't lose their whole career over one statement. If everybody knew everything all of us have ever said, right. would oh, none of us Ooh. have a job uh, no damn uh, way? Yeah. <laughs> none of us. So true. Okay, here's a good one. New York City laws say that wherever men can be topless, Women can, too. Yes! So, <laughs> a, gr a group of topless women have become part of the Times Square scene. Oh, no. Posing with tourists in exchange for $10 tips. Now, the mayor's had enough and set up a task force to get rid of these ladies. But would that be considered a double standard. What do you think? No, Kim? this is not a double standard. I disagree with this totally. I have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. If I'm walking through New York City and they're seeing areolas or whatever exposed or boobs exposed, I'm gonna have to explain it to my kid. Can people just put your clothes on? I mean, are we are we barbaric now that we just have to take off our clothes to get attention? It's not a double standard. It's Nicole. not a double standard. Um, well, I have a friend who did that before, so I'm not gonna insult you. <laughs> I was in New but... York topless. Yeah. Painted. You were what? So she's painted there. Okay. Yeah. Look at Jenny. Jenny's been there. She's done it. I used to be I mean... at a bar. I used to 
host clubs all the time, and we used to go in fully painted in New York, and it was Would you legal. do it today? I wouldn't mind walking through Times Square. They're gonna see boobs one day in their life. They have been well, part Jimmy, of women. Well, you don't want it right in When front you of get you. my age, baby, they're gonna be hanging down to the <laughs> That's why I don't mind them being out, because sometimes you want to be free. <laughs> sometimes you want to be Already free. Already there. <laughs> you Shirley, you agree free. with this. Yeah. Yes, I don't mind. Oh my gosh, Shirley. Painted. Sometimes you want to be free. Bras are constricting. Thank the you. that I have on right now is really, really tight. I know you didn't expect me well, to say that. Well, take it off and walk around Men then. Men do it. Why not women? Shirley, Shirley, Shirley. I am shocked and blown away. For real. <laughs> you know, Shirley, so I've been knowing you right for 15 now. years. Your bra tight, and it's you tight. ain't going to take it off. So what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but if they want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, but if they want to do it, let them do it. Shirley, I'm you not know good hell well. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but if they want to do it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes my underwear is restricted. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh God. Now, it's... what? You, what you? How free you won't <laughs> let me be? Don't be that free, Steve. Don't be that free. Don't be that free. <laughs> you want me to just hang him no. out? No. <laughs> just... oh, I can't do it. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to commercial break. Hey, before we go, uh, Nicole uh, has a new perfume called Snooky by Nicole Polizzi. Ooh, nice. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. And let me tell you something. I smelled it. I went, wow, this is really nice. And she has that out now. She's bought a bottle for everybody in the audience. 